Okay, so today we are looking at Fuduntu, Fuduntu 14.10. Now, as you can probably guess by the name, this is a Fedora 14 uh, based distribution, but it is also taking quite a few cues from Ubuntu. And, uh, and as I'm going to get into in a minute, uh, this, this distro is basically a user-friendly version of Fedora that is up to date with some very interesting perks indeed. So let's just have a quick look at the website here. Uh, so yes, it basically it says that Fuduntu is a light-hearted and fun Linux distribution and that it's somewhere in between Fedora and Ubuntu. Now I won't read the rest because you can all read. And uh, basically they nail down their Fuduntu difference to the latest stable Linux kernel, which is 2.6.39, which is, that is very impressive. Uh, we've also got a statically pleasing design. Of course, that's always subjective. Unbelievable performance and unparalleled battery life. Uh, so I'm going to get into those things in a minute. But let me start out by saying that uh, the look and feel is very much uh, Ubuntu slash elementary type look and feel. So uh, as far as themes are concerned, uh, you've got uh, their own custom Fuduntu theme, but you've also got a good uh, selection of other themes here as well, making good use of the fans at Cupertino icon set. And you can even see that we've got the elementary theme in here as well. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Backgrounds are standard Fedora backgrounds with a few extra ones thrown in here with uh, some very interesting branding, etc, etc. Now, obviously, at the top, it's basically um, GNOME 2.32, uh, but down the bottom, we've got the AWN Avant Window Navigator, uh, which is an interesting inclusion instead of Docky, but most people uh, tend to believe that AWN is more customizable. Uh, now, as far as default applications go, you get a fairly good selection. Uh, as I've mentioned before, Avant Window Navigator, and you also get uh, standard GNOME tools and Shutter, the screen cap tool, as well as uh, GNOME Take a Screenshot as well. So a bit redundant there, but I suppose if you want to use one tool rather than the other, the choice is there. You've got GIMP and you've got Shotwell Photo Manager. Shotwell Photo Manager is sitting at version 0.10.1, which is the latest stable Shotwell release, and it is a good release as well. Uh, under Internet, we have Chromium Web Browser, Dropbox pre-installed, which is very convenient, uh, Empathy Instant Messaging, Google Mail, and Remote Desktop Viewer. Now, Google Mail uh, is very interesting in that uh, it is obviously a web app, and as is your only Office app, which is, of course, Google Docs. Now, this is a very interesting move on the Fuduntu team as they, uh, as they really seem to be pushing the cloud into implementation. Uh, coupled with the um, great battery life that they are uh, touting with this, uh, with this release, it definitely appears that they're going for the laptop slash netbook market. Uh, and, and I believe they're doing quite a good job at, at it as well. So Google Docs and Gmail handle your office work and your emailing. Banshee Media Player, Bracero Disk Burner, Cheese, and VLC. System tools, we have an uh, interesting selection here, but the two I want to talk about are Illyrius or Illyrius, Illyrius, uh, and we also have Jupyter, which is the power manager. Now, Jupyter is what, I, um, is what I'm really impressed with. Uh, I'm surprised that more distributions aren't using this particular tool as it is extremely helpful. It sits up here in the top right hand corner in the system tray and basically you can uh, give it what performance mode you want it to run on. So we've got maximum performance, high performance and power saver. Believe me, power saver really does save power and I think this is where Fuduntu gets its unparalleled battery life claim from. Uh, we've also got device control, so you can disable your Wi-Fi or other devices or peripherals that you might have running on the system that could be sucking the battery life. Uh, screen resolutions you can adjust here as well, as, uh, along with screen orientation and the video displays you can change here as well. Very convenient tool, definitely geared towards the portable uh, laptop and netbook arena. Uh, great to see. It is a fantastic little application and it's a very nice and welcome inclusion here in, uh, in Fuduntu. Now, Illyrius, uh, or Illyrius, however you want to say that, is uh, the GNOME tweaking tool that we're all fairly familiar with. But again, it's nice to see it here. You can also change the power management tools such as LCD brightness and, uh, and all sorts of other stuff as well that I really don't have time to get into here. But this is available for most Linux distributions and it's like Ubuntu tweak except for the entire GNOME desktop. So that's very nice to see. Uh, now, as far as actual system performance goes, this distribution is actually pretty snappy. 
uh, you out of the box you get the proprietary NVIDIA or um, or uh, ATI drivers and they take care of all your 3D compositing such as compiz etc etc and all of that seems to work out of the box just fine uh, now you can see under resources here we're running 330 meg which isn't too bad it's a little bit heavy but again I'm running screencasting uh, software so that probably doesn't help either uh, now this is running off the live off the live USB um, however I have used this on the local hardware and hardware detection was very good and I must say battery life was equal to their claim it was very much unparalleled uh, well not quite unparalleled but it definitely was a good deal uh, greater than what I have gotten on Linux distributions in the recent past uh, I think the Linux kernel 2.6.39 also has a part to play in that but no doubt Jupiter is doing a great job of uh, keeping that battery life down so if you ask me, Fuduntu I think is definitely geared towards those who are out and about. Uh, they live a lot on the internet and uh, consequently all of their stuff, all of their email and their office docs are, are managed through uh, Google's tools. Now of course under, under the hood we do have Fedora 14. So it's pretty stock standard uh, Fedora you know, package management. You've got Yum and, uh, and Add Remove software on the front end. Uh, quite honestly, there's not much more I can say about that. Uh, the package manager is not the most user-friendly in the world, but that doesn't really matter too much. Most people would know what they're doing once they get there anyway. You also have a bootloader configuration tool, which is quite handy. All your standard uh, GNOME tools here, and uh, under preferences, you just have basic GNOME stuff with the inclusion, of course, color profiles, which is, uh, which is of course, uh, a Fedora custom tool. And, um, and quite honestly, that's really all there is to Fuduntu. Uh, it has the same repositories, obviously, as Fedora 14, uh, with uh, the latest uh, kernel and drivers to keep that system support uh, nice and snappy. And uh, honestly, that's really all I've got to say about Fuduntu. It's quite a light distribution. It looks nice. It's very minimalistic. It's simplistic. And I think it's great for a laptop or netbook in, in particular. Uh, definitely my recommendation for a Fedora-based distribution. If you're looking for something more fully featured, check out Fusion Linux. They, they have a more uh, Linux Mint-esque uh, Fedora install, but a very nice uh, distribution nonetheless. Definitely worth checking out if you like that performance on the battery side of things.